I've been composing concertos for about 20, 22 years now. It seems unlikely that I uh, do this because I started out as a, a, a folk musician and a jazz musician, but I've always been attracted to the concerto form. The, the huge twist here is that I'm improvising the line you know, over the entire concerto. Um, that's something that um, I actually really didn't know it was possible until I composed this. actually have a piece where um, it was planned from the beginning for the, for the solo line to be invented on stage throughout, not even any thematic material given to the solo um, that's written, um, is a new idea. I couldn't have asked for a better setting to, uh, to perform this in and, and, and give the world premiere. And to have these incredible young musicians, 115 of them on stage with me, uh, probably one of the best youth orchestras in the world uh, resides there in Boston. One of the, the, the most striking new ideas was the fact that I was playing acoustic violin and turning it into an electric violin um, at different various parts of the piece. That is something that really has never been done before. When I improvise, the focus and the, and the intensity magnifies. I have to remain in the music, really focused, and uh, try to keep thinking of ideas. I get to celebrate my music with other top musicians on my own album. The Triple Concerto features some of my best themes. For the On Trio to perform with the New Jersey Youth Symphony Orchestra, another incredible youth orchestra. The young people uh, in these orchestras were just absolutely fantastic to work with. I think it's an incredible message uh, to people all over the country that this is what's possible when um, your child takes music. They had to believe that it was possible. Um, I had to believe that they were believing. <laughs> um, it took a really a, a incredible group effort to do this and especially to do it for, for the first time. Mm -hmm. 